Hi everyone, welcome back to another video. Today I am going to be doing a Harry Potter studio tour haul. And I literally just got back from the Harry Potter studios like half an hour ago. I'm gonna shut my windows because we can hear his birds. And I'm back. Today I'm gonna be showing you what I bought from the Harry Potter studios in London. And I have never been to Harry Potter studios. Literally I went today and it was my first time and it was pretty amazing. Um, I also did a vlog on it, so I think the vlog will be going up before this video. So if you guys want to check out how I got on with the tour and how I felt about it and what I did, it's pretty cool. I basically go through the whole tour. Um, I don't think the video is going to be that long, but I hope it's not going to be too long. If you want to go check it out, then I will link it down below and it will also be on my channel. So go check it out and let's get started with the haul. So I spent roughly around 50, 60, 70 like 100 quid. I spent like 100 pounds probably on everything. I'm talking like food, drink, photos, merch, etc. So not just the stuff from the gift shop. I'm going to show you what I have in this massive bag. The first thing I'm going to show you guys are the things I have wrapped up. These are the most expensive things, I think. This one was £14. It's like £13.95, but £14. This is a Hogwarts Crest mug. It is really pretty. It's like it's black and it has the crest on the front with all the houses on. And it just says Hogwarts School of Witchcraft and Wizardry on the back. There was quite a few mugs that I liked. I really liked the Honeydukes one that Cherry Wallace, I think, did a haul on as she... I saw it in the shop. I really, really liked it. It was like a white mug with like a teal inside. I really liked that. Because it didn't have Harry Potter on it, it was for uh, Honey Dukes, I think it is, that sweet shop. I'm saying all oh, this really wrong. I'm really sorry. It had that on it and I I loved it, but I didn't really have anything. It didn't say Harry Potter. And because I'm not a massive like Harry Potter fan, I love Harry Potter. Like, I love the films. They're absolutely amazing. And they are so like inspirational to me as a video maker because I actually love video. Like minus my YouTube channel, I really want to be a videographer. When I was looking at all the stuff from Harry Potter, I was like, wow. And I was just like, astounded of how they made all the stuff. So anyway, that aside. But yes, I did, want to, I did want a mug to say Harry Potter on it because I've only been to the studio once and I just wanted something really, really like memorable. I don't know what the hand gesture is. So the next thing I got is sweets. I've got quite a few sweets. I was going to get some Bertie Bots Every Flavour Beans, if that's what they're called. I didn't get them because they were £9 for a packet of jelly beans, £9. So I couldn't, I was thinking, I don't really want to pay that much. So I bought a lolly and I bought another lolly. <laughs> I got this one, it, this is Niffler, I think that's his name, from Fantastic Beasts. This is a strawberry flavour lolly, I really like this. So this is from the actual Fantastic Beasts. And I also got a Honey Dukes lolly which is in black cherry. So that would be really nice. This was £3.50 or £3 and this was £1.50. So this is probably like, probably one of the cheapest things you can get. That and like postcards, they're really cheap. So the next thing I bought was this Fizzing Whizbees. And I've never had these before. My friend Emily, who I went to the Harry Potter studios with, she's a massive, massive Harry Potter fan. And she told me that she really liked these and they, she said they have like popping candy or something in them. So I'm going to try these out. And I'm basically doing this haul now so I can eat everything. <laughs> I think those are about £8, I think. A lot of the stuff was really expensive. So I actually wanted to get everything. And they had this really nice tank top that was a pyjama top. I loved it. It was so nice. But they didn't have anything cheap. So <laughs> I was just like, okay, maybe next time. <laughs> I don't know the exact prices of all these things. So I'm going to put a text here of how much everything is just so you know, if you want to get stuff, I think you can actually get it from the website as well. Or you can probably find an, a, like a platform nine and three quarters shop and stuff like that in London. They do have merch like in other places other than the studios, but it's cool to have a look around there. Shop is huge. It's huge. A gift shop huge. So the next thing I bought is a chocolate frog. This is an actual chocolate frog. Yes. Shall we open it? Okay. <laughs> Anything food related, I'm just like, yep. Open it straight away. This was £3.50, I want to say. I don't know if it was that cheap. As I said, I'll put the price right now up here. So you guys can actually see how much it is. Oh my God, this is so beautiful. Look how beautiful this box is. Ah, I love it. Okay, let's, let's open it. Oh, oh, damn. It's a chocolate froggy. Wow. That is so cool. Ooh, I got Helga Hufflepuff. 
that's really funny because I keep saying to Emily that I'm a Gryffindor and she said that's not good because you told me that you were a Hufflepuff and I said I know she said that was what your Pottermore quiz told you and I'm like I know and she's like well Hufflepuff aren't gonna be happy with you if you're calling yourself Gryffindor and I'm like but I like Gryffindor Harry Potter's in Gryffindor anyway <laughs> yes yeah, so this is Hufflepuff so I think this is a sign that I'm a Hufflepuff. <laughs> Everything I was doing was Hufflepuff. It was just like, we we're gonna get given Hufflepuff robes and stuff like that, which is great. So yeah, I love this chocolate frog. I think it's pretty sick. I love it. So I go to anywhere, I have to buy a key ring. I'm obsessed with key rings, love them. I don't know why, I just think they're cute. They're small. You can bring them anywhere you want. You can put them on your keys. That's why they're called a key ring. I got two key rings. I got this one, which was the night bus. This was 12 pounds, which I was, I was like, oh, why is it 12 pounds? But I thought, I want it. <laughs> like my brain was like, don't get it, get it, don't get it, don't get it, get it. Uh, I love the Prisoner of Azkaban. That is one of my favorite Harry Potters of all time. This one has like the little nighttime bus and it also says the making of Harry Potter Warner Brothers Studio Tour London. I also got the chocolate frog for £8.95 and oh, that's just so expensive but anyway moving on. £9 this was basically. This smells like chocolate and it smells so nice. It smells so good. So I got those two. I keep getting really shiny because I'm so hot. It's like 30 degrees today. So the last thing I got was this gorgeous trinket box. Me and my friend Emily really wanted this. I saw this, as I said, in Cherry Wallace's video. Her hauls are always amazing. She always picks the most amazing stuff. This trinket box was 20 pounds and that's a lot of dollar, but look how pretty that is. I mean, come on. And it's so, so nice. I'm gonna put my jewelry in this, I reckon. And I just think like, it's such nice quality. Like you can't get this anywhere else really, like this nicer quality. And I don't know why I'm just like, picking it up but it's a lot of money and I also got two photos done I got one when I was on the broomstick I will insert it here so you can actually see it properly and I also got one with Emily and her boyfriend Dan so we're both a wanted poster which is so cute so I really hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you love Harry Potter like I do then give it a big thumbs up or if you just like this video give it a big thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe. My name is Vicky Wishes. The subscribe button is right down there. Give me a like, comment, subscribe. You know the drill. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you all in my next video. Bye.